Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to set up the beautiful Phoenix A320 series aircraft. So that includes a full startup of the aircraft and setting up the computer system itself. Surprisingly, I have not done a video on this. So this is a user request and let's get started. So here we are, cold dark in the Phoenix 19. This is the, uh, any of the Phoenix aircrafts would work just fine. You can use the Indie builds as well. There'll be some differences uh, to use the, uh, the actual guide itself here. Now, before I begin, just a quick heads up. This is not a procedure direct, direct, you know, of how to do it correctly in the Airbus A319. This is just a flow I like to use. We are gonna be using sim briefs. So if you do not have sim brief, pause this video, Go to simbrief.com, create a profile. It's completely free. You will need it for this flight. Okay, so now that you have that ready to go, let's bring up Simbrief. So in this video, we're gonna look at Simbrief. We're gonna set up a flight from Orlando to Miami in the 319. So to begin, once you have your uh, profile set up, we go to flight plan, click on that little button there. Oh, I do have to sign in. All right, so we're gonna go into new. And we're going to put in our information here. So our airline code, whatever you like to be, I'm going to be Delta. So D-A-L. I'm going to do a flight number of 516. We're departing from airport of Orlando. So K-M-C-O going to K-M-I-A. That is it for this top level. This next one, we're going to do aircraft type. This is going to be the 319. So right here. And then if you have it uh, a variant, which I do have. Uh, you can find that on another video. I'm not going to go through the steps on this one. Uh, this is going to be a C, uh, CFM. Once we have that, that is it. We click Generate Flight. It's going to generate our route for us. And we're going to call back to this a couple different times throughout the video. All right, so now we have Orlando to Miami. We have our airtime. We have our altitude. We have our cost center. So these are going to be very important. And then we also have our route right here. All right, so now in the Phoenix, we're going to put this on the side. In the Phoenix itself, we're going to go over to the EFB here, click on Phoenix, and import it. But before we do that, we're going to go over to Settings, and we're going to put in our SimBrief username. So whatever username you made with SimBrief, you're going to put that in there. So mine is Lexterio. Obviously, you want to use yours, not mine, because it's going to have to pull your information. Once you have that, go back here and go to Phoenix. And when you're, when you're in Phoenix, you're going to go back here to Phoenix, and you're going to click on import your uh, flight plan from SimBrief. So click on that guy. This is going to import the flight plan. So Orlando to Miami, right there. Next, we're going to go to mass and balance. Once you have that, it's going to automatically load this information from SimBrief for us. So we're going to click load aircraft. And depending on what you have, if you have GSX, you can use that. If you want to do real time, you can use that. I like to use instant because I'm impatient. And then you can dismiss, dismiss it. The next thing I like to do is go up to the top here and go to the second icon. And in the second icon, I'm going to click this button, click this button, and click this button. This is going to sync all of the flight parameters for weight into the system, but we're going to send it momentarily. The next step is we're going to go up to the top panel here and get some power to this aircraft. So battery one, battery two, external power. And now the Phoenix will slowly start to come alive. Now again, this isn't a 100% correct procedure to do in real life, but this is the procedure flow I like to use. It works out really good here in the sim. We're gonna go to fuel pump one, two, pump one, two, and pump one, two. Next step is we're gonna turn the IRSs to the nav position. You have those all set. Next, we're gonna go come on down here and click on crew supply. Click that button. We're gonna bring up the strobe lights, beacon lights, wing lights, and nav lights. Click on the master switch for the APU. Click on this uh, standby compass. I'm not sure what that does exactly, but I like to use it. Emergency exit needs to be armed. No smoking to auto. Seat belts to auto, or sorry, to on, and then start the APU. Once you have that going, swing on down below here and we're gonna click on config. And I click on this button because this will go ahead and load up our IRSs automatically for us, so instantly. So manual config, or sorry, manual failures, navigation, 
and we're going to roll on down here to the IRS alignment. And they're going to be orange, you're going to make them white. Okay, once you have that set, over here on the left, FMGC. Click on that button. We're going to see it load up an error here. Just go ahead and clear out that error and go to init. Once you have that set, you can request it. So init request, click that button. It's going to take a couple seconds to load on up. Be a little patient. Next, we're going to put in our flight number. So whatever you created early on with your flight. So we'll bring up SimBrief again. Flight number is DAL516 for this flight. So on here, DAL516. We're going to put in that right there. Cost index. We grab this from our SimBrief profile. So uh, cruise profile right here, cost index is 7. So we're going to put in 7 right here. And then cruise altitude, again, we grab that from SimBrief. Cruise altitude, initial altitude, 27,000 feet. So we're going to pop that in here. We just have to type in 270 and then pop that in. The next step, we're going to go back to the EFB over here and click send to MCDU. We're going to send that on over. We're going to go back to the first icon and go send to MCDU as well. The next thing I do is go to ground services page. Now, if we scroll on back down here, if we go over to the right one, we can see this is now filled in with all our fuel information. And on the right side, if we click on uh, performance, we can see that our takeoff information is all set up into the computer. We're going to clear out the air that's currently in there. We're going to go to the flight plan. And now this imported our flight plan for the most part, but we have to provide it a few more details. The first detail is our departure runway. So here in Orlando, if we tap on this first button, we're going to tap on departure. And now in our flight plan, we can see that it's saying runway 35 left. And then we're going to be initially climbing up to 4,000 and then cruising up to flight level 270 via Danny 3, Danny, Coastal 2, and then in Miami 26 left. Okay, so that means we are departing runway 35 left. If we scroll on down here, 35 left, we have no departure, do we? Well, we have a Danny 3 departure. So we're going to click on that, Danny 3. So again, we look on our chart here, the Danny 3. Okay. And uh, do we have any VIA? Well, do we have a VIA? Let's take a look. So we have Danny 3 via Danny, but we don't have any VIA. I don't see Danny in here, which means we have no VIA. So no transition. So we're going to click on ins import, or sorry, temporary uh, insert. And I'm going to click on Miami. In Miami, arrival. So again, runway what? What was it? 26 left in Miami, Danny 3, Danny Coastal 2. Okay, so scroll on down here to 26 left, 26 left, ILS via the Coastal 2, right? Transition is Danny. Okay, insert. So if we go back over here again, we see we have the 35 left. Here's our altitude, 4,000 initially, up to flight level 270 via the Danny 3, Danny transition, Coastal 2, runway 26 left in Miami. And that is pretty much it. That is how you set up this beautiful Phoenix aircraft. Now, if you, get, if you are using ATC and they give you a different runway, very easy to change though, whatever they tell you. Click on the button, arrival, choose the runway, choose your via, your star, choose your transition, and there you go. Now, keep in mind that sometimes if you do change your uh, navigation system, so if you're an autopilot and you have to change your arrival, you may have to pull this out. You may have to pull this out, have it go to heading mode, because it's gonna yell at you down here, go to heading mode first, put in your change, click the temporary insert button, and then you should be able to bring this back into autopilot mode where it's going to automatically navigate for you based on the information you put in the computer here. One other tip, down here with the Phoenix, when you're putting your squat code, you do have to clear it out first and then put in whatever code you want. You can't just type it in. You have to clear it out, right? So if you are using like an ATC, you do need to do that. Also, this needs to go into to auto and this needs to go into Terra when you're ready. I like to do it uh, during my pushback phase, in real life, they do it, I believe, when they are when they are holding short at the runway itself. So those are my tips for you. But 
this is a quick tutorial of how to get this A319 up and alive. At this point, you would start the engines itself. Super easy to do. APU bleed is going to be on. Turn off the external power. Go on down below here and turn this to start. Give it a couple seconds and then start engine one. And this will bring up engine one. And also, don't forget, GPU has to come off. Chocks have to come off because else this plane won't back up. Thanks for watching this video. Give me a comment down below what you think of this beautiful A319. We'll see you for the next one. Take care.